Welcome to Boing Boing. I'm Shani Jardin, and I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, otherwise known as the set of Breaking Bad, in the home of Shanna Schultz. Hi, Shanna. Hey. <laughs> um, well, we tweeted at you uh, early, early this morning uh, to tell you that we were thinking of heading to Albuquerque on a whim to right. hook up with other Breaking Bad fans, and you very kindly offered to uh, welcome us into your your meth <laughs> <laughs> to watch the season premiere. And, and look, there's some nice, uh, tasty pollos hermanos. Um, somebody has a crack pipe? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, meth, a meth pipe. pipe. It's a meth pipe. It's, and it looks like you've been in touch with Walter <laughs> and <Justin. laughs> So, Sh Shanna, um, what inspired you to, to bring together all these people for a, a party? Be, you know, we all love Breaking Bad and we all live here, and so why not? And all of you guys, how do you know each other? Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> But not just around Breaking Bad, like your, your friends here in Albuquerque. Right. yes. And what do you have in common other than Breaking Bad? Twitter. <laughs> downtown. downtown. We all live downtown, you know, uh -huh. downtown bars. Downtown Downtown's like a cool area yeah. in Albuquerque. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's all cocktails food downtown. Yeah. All right. So what did you think of the episode? I, I think at this point... I'll trust whatever they do, no matter what. I'll do whatever Vince Gilligan does. I think that it's it's going to lead somewhere. Mm -hmm. And this one was good, just like as a standalone episode. And usually the season premieres are kind of kind of less uh, like standalone episodes and more like leading up to other stuff. But this one was just like action in the, in the it's episode. It's like they, they just great. jumped right into it. Yeah. And the anticipation just continues to build. And yeah. every from scene to scene, you know, they just do a great job of continually anticipating what's going next and what's happening and while well, still building up that storyline of what's going to happen with Walt, especially at the beginning, he looks like a hipster or something, so <laughs> that. and leading up to, you know, what happened last episode, so they do a great job of that, for sure. Like, it, it, they, they sort of wove in a lot of what happened at the end um, uh, for people who maybe haven't, I, I don't know, watched seasons one through four methodically leading up to tonight. Full disclosure, this is my second episode oh. ever. <laughs> this guy dragged me here really? last minute, and I kind of got the whole backstory. We watched the 10 minute yeah. uh, synopsis that you posted. Yeah, the slate recap. Right. Um, and that kind of gave me a general idea. I, I watched it when I first moved here just so I could know what everybody was talking about. And uh, I kind of know exactly what was going on. So it was... You don't know exactly what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get you a Netflix and watch the entire thing. Uh, so as we were watching, it, it, was, it was actually really fun being, in, being here and watching the show with you guys. You were talking about how, oh, yeah, I know that. That's a donut place, or that's like this place. So what were some of the spots in this episode that you recognized from around town? Denny's. 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 <laughs> the Denny's right across from Denny's. campus. And that one's been used before. Yeah, yes. that's where, uh, yes. what was it? Season after one? after um, Box Cutter, actually. Oh, was, yeah. Yeah, right after the oh, Box right. Cutter. Yeah, where they're wearing their Kenny Rogers shirts and their Ed Denny's. <laughs> and, you know. The ketchup right after the blood. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> I remember that well. Yeah. Yes. Where else? Where else was there? Uh, the parking lot? Downtown parking lot. Oh, yeah, the downtown, downtown parking lot. That was a uh, season, last season's finale. Where Walt attempted yeah. to blow up. Right, there's Gosh, a copper so. parking lot. Where, where his white car was parked. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 What else is there? there? There's his home, which is in the, the Heights. The Heights, which everybody's, home. Dri yeah, everybody's yeah. driven by at least once. <laughs> yeah. And someone here was mentioning that they knew where Jesse's home was as oh, well. That's oh, right yeah. down the street. Yeah. Right, right like, down the street like, from here. Like it's, three, four minutes. No, it's this way. Oh, that way. That way. <laughs> okay. Now, when, I don't know if I was crazy, but when I when we were driving, I think it was maybe on Elm Street or or one of these other streets, we saw. Um, uh, it looked like like an abandoned taco stand or something oh. that uh, I, I swear taco. Was, was that where Jesse and uh, Brock and the girlfriend had a taco together or was, was that it? a place oh man I don't even remember now if it yeah. is then we're all going to feel See, no, like, I, I, this, is, this, is, this is my first time in Albuquerque ever oh. and I'm pretty oh sure that gosh. if I drive around I'd be like oh, oh that wasn't Breaking yes. Bad that yeah. wasn't Breaking yeah. Bad yeah. and I'd be wrong 99% of the time <laughs> <laughs> but like anytime I see a diner, I'll say, oh, yeah, they, they, they shot that pancake scene there. Or if I see a taco shop, I'll be like, yeah, that's where they had the taco. Well, that's how we feel, too. We're like, we're by, <laughs> what is it, Top Dog? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's Top Dog is always in it, and that's right down, oh. that's right down Top the Top Dog is the best. And they, 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 they there's lots of scenes of Top Dog. There. Now, you were telling me that uh, there isn't actually a Pollo Hermanos in Albuquerque, no. but... It's filmed at the Twisters on Isleta and Gun Club. Yeah. And Twisters oh. left their sign up after filming and they get extra 
They get like. So they said they get like ten extra customers a day coming in to look at the. I was one of them. <laughs> but I found it by accident. I, I, I was like. Oh. I, of course, took a picture, tweeted it, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. Awesome. What did, what did you guys, anybody back there, what did you think of this uh, first episode of season five? Um, I don't watch it that much. Actually, yeah. I come because of the company and the Twitter friends. I thought it was awesome, to be quite honest. Yeah. Yeah. Not being an avid watcher. Like How can you have any other watcher? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a single busy mother, thank you. <laughs> but it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, not being, watching it every week. I enjoyed it. What, what did you think? I was just here for the booze. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I'm picking up on it now. Yeah. See, now you gotta watch this one. This your second episode ever? The first one. one. Oh, first one ever. First, wait, this was your first yeah, episode I've never ever? Seen the show before. Could you uh, imagine kind of becoming addicted to it? Yeah. 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 One through four. Yeah. Netflix. So, who, who in here is like a true fan of Breaking Bad? Right? Yes. We're religious about it. Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. how so? Um, well, we have these parties. <laughs> We're yeah. planning on who's going to host the next one so, yeah. or next week. I think after we had all already watched the seasons, him and I went back through and just watched Rewatch. every single episode. Yeah. So I'm not the only one who's done that. I, no, of course yeah. not. I've watched probably you know, the episodes a couple times each episode. And wow. Like, probably like the last couple seasons, I watched them like three times each. Yeah. Whoa. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we had a Halloween costume last year. Oh, well, it was Walter White. Last <laughs> time. Wow. You still have your hair, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof. So. A couple of months ago, we had the same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, so, as I shared with you, I have cancer and I've been going through treatment. Right. And uh, for me, watching the entire series again from one through the end of four while I was going through chemo and you know after I'd been diagnosed and now like I'm a person with cancer just like Walt um, it was like a whole new show whole new I started yeah because you, you know if you don't have cancer or, or say if you don't have a relative who has cancer you don't really think about cancer mm. but when you do that's all you think about at least when you're going through treatment um, so there was you know the episode when he's diagnosed and you know I cried watching that because I was like yeah I remember exactly what that feeling of kind of being outside of your body is like and thinking that the doctor is saying it to someone else and then even you know after he goes into chemo there's one particular type of drug that they gave him that really makes you throw up I had that same infusion and I remember him reaching into the fridge to grab a ginger ale and like that's what the oncology nurses tell you to, to do you know eat ginger candy drink the ginger ale there were so many things about about that aspect of this character's identity right. that I never appreciated, but every single one of them was so spot on. Even like when um, uh, Walt finishes uh, chemo and uh, I, I forget if he had radiation, but whatever treatment he was on uh, and the cancer, the, the spread of the cancer has stopped, he's in remission and they throw him a party and instead of being feeling like he can celebrate, he's sitting back, he's upset, there's this dissonance. That's a thing. <laughs> so to me, like that that was just this whole incredible additional layer of authenticity to the show. But the other thing about chemo is that it, it fucks with your memory. So I can't I, I could watch the whole thing again <laughs> and it would all be new. You should. Yeah. You should. So you, you have the whole authenticity about the cancer thing and then we have the all all the authenticity about Albuquerque. That, I hadn't that's thought actually that. yes. that's where like we know where that is. Like the high school he taught at I wow. went to high school there. Like I'm like when he's really? walking down the steps, I'm like, I I've been there a million times. I walk down those steps every day. Wow. <laughs> so I mean it's, it's a new perspective. It's authentic, it's authentic to Albuquerque. Well, that's like, why we love it so much. One of the like, reasons. And even like the characters that are Albuquerquean. So and the cars. Those, yeah. And you can tell those are Albuquerqueans. Really? Oh, so tell me, tell me, you gotta break that down for me because I'm not an Albuquerquean. <laughs> well, even, even like uh, Jesse's friends, like Combo and yeah, and those other guys, those are Turtle. Yeah, Turtle, yeah, Turtle, right? You can definitely see those like as being some guys that you know through a friend or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you can see those as Albuquerqueans, like for sure. Yeah. Or that kid shot the. The little kid yeah. on the bike shot that because that was he right down the street combo. from Barella's. Yeah, he, he killed Combo. Yeah. 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 That was right down the street from like a really good 
Really? Yeah. Wow. It was like two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right in your neighborhood. Yeah, that was right yeah. 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 Right down from Barabbas. Well, my parents have not watched Breaking Bad, but they love the In Plain Sight, which also just uh, finished filming. Oh. And every time they come to town, they do the same thing that you're probably going to do. It's, oh, they got this here, <laughs> and they did that. And it's like, oh, yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess the irony for me is, you know, we flew here today from Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and as you may be aware, Hollywood, quite a few TV shows and yeah. films have been shot there. Well, you know, I drive around LA all the time, and I don't think like, oh my god, they shot this or that TV show there, but here in Albuquerque, I totally did. Well, and sometimes it's like, oh god, they're still shooting something here? Like, won't they reopen the street, please? I know, yeah. downtown, because we all live downtown, and they shut the street down. And you get a little flyer on your door, and like, uh, you don't have access to your street today. I'm like, Oh. Okay. So do you ever get annoyed with the fact that they shoot yeah. here? No. We, everybody no. puts up with it. It's fun it's just, in the end. It's just kind of... It's just like I have to drive around the block. <laughs> I drive around Buck to get home now, but... Oh, cool. but there's Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. Uh, anything okay. else that you want to tell the world of other Breaking Bad fans who are not in Albuquerque, New Mexico? It's probably actually real. <laughs> this it's is true. a reality TV show. It's now. reality TV. It's true. <laughs> and I, I don't know if everybody's seen your, your t-shirts, but uh, oh, yeah. Walter White over here. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us total strangers come into your show. Absolutely. Miles is behind the camera here. Um, and what's your doggy's name again? Kita. Kita? What did you think of the of the season five? She yeah. liked all the food that was being dropped on the floor. <laughs> awesome. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to come back um, for episode two and the, right. and, the, and the episodes to follow, but I really appreciate your hospitality, and, and thanks for letting us in. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, uh, who wants to smoke some meth? <laughs> Me! Yay! <laughs> tight, tight, tight! <laughs>